My real name is Alfred, um, but everyone's always called me Freddie. I feel like Alfred is something I need to graduate into. You know, I'll be like 60 years old with a cloth cap and I'll be suddenly Alfred. Yeah, one day I will get that. I've loved being a part of the wider process on The Good Doctor. I guess it was born out of a natural desire to be involved beyond acting. So I'm here actually in LA at the moment in the writer's room because I'm getting to write an episode next year and I'll direct one too. But, but it comes out of a natural desire to try and be involved as, as much as I can be useful, I guess. Well, I'm forced neck injury. Oxygen sats just dropped below 80. Trachea's crushed. I inserted a laryngeal mask, but the airway is not secured. Are you okay? You weren't hurt? His oropharyngeal anatomy is distorted for the contusion. I think this character, more than any other one I've played, required a huge amount of research. And at the same time, it was important not to get too bogged down in, I guess, in having a skewed vision of what someone with autism is actually like. They're, they're not purely defined by traits. I need a ligating suture around the splenic artery. Can you do that for me before this young lady bleeds out on us, Murphy? Yes. In terms of my medical knowledge, it's pretty poor. I guess you have a basic idea of the concept behind the surgeries that you're doing and you learn how to pronounce the words. But no, in no way would I be capable of saving anybody. Or I'm sure the actual surgeries that we do are somewhat twisted for dramatic purposes. And so I'd say, no, no, this is what you do. Do you like cut down between the third rib and it fixes all your problems? And that would end up killing the patient.